Shalom, beloved. It's a word. Many of us, beloved, are like roots coming out of dry ground. The support that you would hope to have, you don't have, and yet you flourish. When we look at Yeshua HaMashiach, we see he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, as a root out of dry ground. Dry ground. It is not spiritually supported. The times did not recognize him. He had no form, no comeliness. When we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men. When we look at that, we have to go back and look at Yasharah and compare the two. Because in 1 John chapter 4, verse 17, because as he is, so are we in this world. In this world, he was a root in dry ground. He was not supported. A lot of us are in situations where we are not supported like Yeshua HaMashiach, whether it is by our family, whether it is systemic in the times that we grew up in. When we look at the times that Yeshua HaMashiach grew up in. The Lord came from a paralyzed nation. The Jews had been laid low by several foreign powers in the centuries preceding his birth by the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Persians, the Greek, and the Roman invasions it had held a stronghold upon the Hebrew people. The nation had become but a stump compared to its glorious past. Yet from this apparent deadness, a branch would spring up to the amazement of humanity. Let me go back, beloved. Because as he is, so are we also in this world. Many of us are in dry ground. You know, at the time of Yeshua HaMashiach's birth, just like the awakening is a rebirth of Yasharel now, Many of the people who were announcing the birth, many of the people who found out about his birth, they too were lowly esteemed. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about the shepherds. When you look at who Yahuwah announced Yeshua's birth to, the angels that came to the shepherds in those days, Shepherds were considered low class. We know that Yasharel was shepherds, but once they had gone through the 400 years in Egypt, Egyptians looked at shepherding as an abomination. And that's why the, the Israelites were in the land of Goshen, because they wanted to be separate from them. So shepherds were not given a high esteem. So when the shepherds got the announcement, even during the time of Yeshua HaMashiach's birth, one of the things that a lot of people don't understand about shepherds, like we got watchers on the wall nowadays, a shepherd, so to speak, a gatekeeper. The systemic circumstance of where we're at does not honor the shepherds, they don't esteem them. That's why a lot of people made such a thing about when Putin recognized who Yasharel is. But the shepherds and the shepherdess who were announcing it, they were considered lowly as far as the status of shepherds go. In Jesus's day, in Yeshua's day, shepherds stood in the bottom rung of the social ladder. They shared a lower class as tax collectors and dung sweepers. We're not talking about in the eyes of Yasharel. We're talking about in the eyes of the so-called uh, power system that they were in at the time. Shepherds were not considered 
high class. They weren't considered something to be admired and, and respected the way these Chris, Christmas images give us. Okay. The shepherd heard about his birth. They had a divine announcement about the birth of Yeshua HaMashiach. Many of you have had divine announcements about your birth, but the announcers weren't esteemed by the world, not yeah, by the world as being of any value. And so when we look at Yah and the angels coming around. Yah sent the angels and they come around the shepherds to announce Yeshua HaMashiach's birth. We're doing line upon line right now, beloved. You see, he chose the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. He chose the weak things to confound the things which are mighty. It wasn't a king or a ruler that found out first. It was the shepherds that found out first. He chose the base things of the world and the things which are despised. Yeah, yeah, hath God chosen. And things which are not to bring to not things that are, that no flesh should glory in his presence. You have people right now because they sit in high government positions. They think that if this announcement didn't come from a high level of who Yasharel is, that it is of no importance. But you see, the shepherds in Yasharel were already given that divine announcement. Yes, yes, yes. Many of us right now, because as he is, so are we in this world. The shepherds were already told the truth. Now, the shepherds heard the first word. Many of you, yeah. Like Yeshua HaMashiach, you got to remember, even upon his birth, after he was born and the shepherds came and worshipped and all over him, then in a separate instance, the three wise men saw that star over Bethlehem where he lived at, saw that star over Bethlehem. And they follow. Herod knew they would go. He wanted to see this king too. And we're going to go back, beloved. When you wonder why are the things that are occurring, occurring. We're going to do line upon line, precept upon precept here, a little there, a little. Like a, a rod in a dry place. Yasharel has been in a dry place. But Yeshua, his birth, his growth Remember what he told us, because as he is, so are ye in this world. Okay, here a little, there a little. You've grown up in a dry place, and as a root out of a dry ground, have no form, no comeliness. When we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. The system, the media images always tried to promote that palm colored look as something to be desired. The hair that does not belong to those of a Yazraelite woman, they tried to promote a beauty that is not a Yazraelite. Why? So that there is no beauty that we should desire them. He is despised and rejected of men. Hmm. What man on this earth, on this earth, because as he is, so are we in this world. Okay, those that are chosen, beloved. Hmm. A man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. As, it, as we hid, as it is our faces from him, he was despised and we esteemed him not. Hmm. But that did not stop. What Yahuwah was going to do with Yeshua HaMashiach. When you look at the birth of Yasharel right now. Mm. Yasharel is despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrows and 
acquainted with grief. And even now, as it is, as we hid, as it were, our faces from him, knowing the evil, knowing the murderous behaviors, many people hide their faces from the truth. When Yeshua HaMashiach's birth was announced, when it was known, not by the shepherds, now we're talking about the three wise men, Herod heard. Well, Herod went and killed all the babies from two years and under. He went and destroyed that myth. Mm. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Who do we see amongst the nations that they murder, trying to stop what they cannot? Yes, beloved, yes. Because as he is, so are we in this world. of root coming out of dry ground, spiritually dry ground. Whether you talk about the divided states, whether you talk about the other nations, spiritually dry ground, it is dry ground, okay? That's where Yasharel is growing up in dry ground. And when you look and you wonder why, these things are happening because as he is, so are we in this world. And you see the line upon line. You see the, the parallel. 400 years, Yasharel had been in Egypt. So many of the things they had practiced and believed in, although Yasharel did not look down on shepherds, though the other nations, particularly Egyptians, looked down on shepherds. And is it any wonder that although Yahshualites did not, Yahuwah parallels the shepherd, the good shepherd, although in the world they esteemed them not. The shepherd, like the uh, uh, watcher on the wall, like the gatekeeper, Yes, right now, beloved, even if the world esteems you not, because as he is, so are we in this world. Be it our families, many of us, although Yah has spoken and given you an assignment, many of your families are condescending, many of them around you want to compete, many of them want to determine that who are you to think that Yah would call you, although you did not call yourself? Yah did. Despised among men, even his own, not just the external forces, his own. Beloved, because as he is, so are we in this world, but know for certainty, just as Yahshua HaMashiach mission was accomplished because that is the way Yah did it. And he elevated the shepherds that society had treated so low that they had relegated as second-class citizens. Many of them were considered thieves. That's why hirelings were put in their place because they did not want that profession to be known as something that they did. And I'm talking about the Yah's life. But you see, you got to remember as we close, as I give this word. But Yah have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound those who think they are wise. He's chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. You have a nation who calls themselves Jews, but are not, but are of the synagogue of Satan. How do you know? You know them by their fruit. They're murderous. They are without satisfaction like the grave, like hell itself knows no satisfaction. Their murderous deeds know no satisfaction. They are of the synagogue of Satan. They say they are Jews, but are not. 
And yet Yah has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things that are mighty and the base thing, the things which are despised. Mm, mm, mm. Have Yah chosen? So you see, beloved, when you going through different things, when you're wondering why people treat you a certain way, we are in nations right now that are dry ground. There is no spiritual moisture from the nations that we're growing up in. No, it's not. And even the announcement of our awakening, our rebirth as a people, it came from shepherds. Shepherds that at the time the system esteemed not. They were lowly. They were the rejected job. Not according to Yasharev, although many Yasharevites did not want to be associated with that because the system said that's a low degree. They were despised hmm. as he is. So are we also in this world. But you must remember the final part. He conquered the world. He conquered a lot. This is not the end, but the beginning. And if you are rejected, if your family, I'm talking siblings and different, they speak evil of you. If they mock you, if even the so-called religious leaders go again, you, remember as he is, so shall ye be also in this world. But when you get to the end of the matter, The triumph is complete, more than a conqueror. This is a word, beloved, a word of encouragement. Herod may run about the spirit of Herod, those demons, trying to destroy that spirit of Yeshua HaMashiach that is in you, but he cannot, for it is by the divine design from the courts, the eternal courts of heaven, that it be this way. And the announcement of our birth cannot be stayed. It is a word, beloved. Shalom.